From Falcon to Phoenix, the U.S. Air Force and Navy changed some priorities and evolved a long-range air-to-air missile system that might have served YF-12 interceptors into something useful for the F-14 Tomcat. This footage is captioned March 1967, but looks to include some much older historical film. In these raw film clips, Ryan Firebee drones are seen as they are launched from Douglas B-26 Invader motherships and a natural metal Air Force C-130. Intercepting jet fighters include an Air Force F-102 and F-106. Quite likely, these scenes show an early precursor missile, the AIM-4, which was small enough to be carried internally in F-102s and F-106s. The AIM-4 led to the AIM-47, which further led to the AIM-54. This film may have been intended for a progress report on the AIM-54 Phoenix missile system. AIM-54 was an evolved variant of the AIM-47 Falcon that the Air Force envisioned for a couple of high-altitude fighters that never saw production or operational service. One was the North American F-108, cancelled before completion. The other was Lockheed's YF-12, which test-fired several AIM-47 Falcons, but the F-12 was not to receive funding for production. The Navy looked at evolving the AIM-47 Falcon into something useful for fleet defense against hostile bombers. It was to have been the weapon system in the Navy's F-111B, a fighter also cancelled with only seven built. The evolved missile for the F-111B was renamed AIM-54 Phoenix. Toward the end of this film, look for a testbed A-3A Sky Warrior with an AIM-54 mounted on an external fuselage pylon. The footage closes with the arrival of one of the rare Navy F-111Bs. Ultimately, the AIM-54 Phoenix missile system found a home on the Navy's F-14 Tomcat fighter after the F-111B was cancelled.
I'm Fred Johnson for Airreal Images. Thanks for watching and thanks especially for subscribing to Airreal Images. It only takes a second to hit the subscribe button and it helps us a lot. We appreciate it.